Today I'm here to give you some tips about how to create, how to create a cool photo book uh, for Mother's Day. Hey there, I'm Mark Sirota, professional photographer. I am an award-winning sports, celebrity, and fashion photographer. I photographed Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Tom Brady, the Olympics, Super Bowls, the World Series, the NBA Finals, Academy Awards. So let's jump right in. And the first thing you're going to really want to do is you're going to want to come up here to get started. And um, and once you get in to get started, you're going to want to have a folder just like this one here, Mother's Day Trip, uh, populated with all the photos that you want to put in the book. In this case, these are all iPhone photos that I took uh, on my new uh, 12 Pro. And then I put them in this folder, and what I will do is drag them into the folder or just hit Get Started. And in this case, I could either drag them into an existing project, like I have here, and just basically drag this folder down into the Mother's Day project, or I can begin a brand new project. Now this project I already started to populate, already started to work in some pictures and, and customize, but I'm gonna show you really how to get started and, and be able to get going with your project. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is pick the type of book that you want. In this case, an 11 by eight and a half hardcover with a beautiful protective dust jacket. Really quality product. Um, great bang for your buck. So you're gonna hit create. And once you do that, it's going to create a whole new project for you. As I said, it's Mother's Day 2 up here. All the pictures are populating in and it and it gives you the opportunity to then choose a theme. So in this case, I want it to be sort of travel related. So I'm looking down and I'm looking for something that might make a really cool travel book. And I'm just going to go with Portfolio White to start off with. So once you click on that, it gets you. Get, it lets you have a choice of how many pages you want to have, and that you can you can dial it down and bring the page count down. Uh, you know, or, or how many images you want to use. Excuse me. Um, this you know allows you to use um, you know uh, as many images as you want, but bring the page count down. And as you bring the page count down, it brings the cost down. So depending on your budget and the amount of pictures, you'll want to go from there. So once you do that, it automatically populates the entire book with photos. So it, you could pretty much go straight up and and just take it right from here. Um, if you want, but there are some really cool ways to customize this book. Uh, that's the back cover, and um, and as you see, some of these images are used more than once. So in this case, I'm going to delete this image because I I know it's probably in the book uh, more than once, and I'm going to put a, a you know more of an end of the day shot because that really ends the book. And since it's a Mother's Day present, I'm going to um, scroll to the to the right here and look for a different sort of back cover image that hopefully uh, this one's kind of funny I like this one first we're gonna do is delete this one and then drag this one up and into this hole so what I'm gonna do here in order to make it fit better is just bring the picture um, a little bit more um, to size and scale now I can bl I can zoom in I could grab with my hand and pull down if I want to tighten it up and there you go so that's changing the back cover. Um, there's also, um, if, we, if we push back to the front cover, there's also uh, really cool ways to utilize type. So here, once you click on it, um, you drag across the top of it, you could change the color of that type. In this particular book, it's either black or white. And obviously, we got to go with black. Um, and now I'm just going to write in uh, Sanibel Island. Florida 2021 all right that narrows down our trip now this picture is the same picture that's here so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this photo um, and I'm gonna look for something that would make a nice leading off shot and I think this might be it because um, it's Sanibel Island at sunset um, the other thing I'm gonna do is now because this is uh, black type I'm gonna drag over it I'm gonna turn it white and now it's gonna pop beautifully 
okay? Um, and then this photo here, um, I'm going to leave just where it is. Uh, one other thing I want to show you uh, as we're going through is you can actually change the, uh, the tone of these images um, by uh, using these tools and filters on the side. So if I wanted to uh, saturate this photo even more, I would dial it up to the right in saturation. Or I could come all the way back and bring it down and make it a black and white. Here, it's pretty colorful already, so maybe I'll just give it a little kick to the right and, and leave it at that. You could also um, white balance by, uh, by tagging here and then uh, touching a white area, or you could just auto balance, and it will auto correct for, for whites and grays and blacks. So that's just one cool way that you can redo a photo. You could also grab on the picture with the hand and move it over, which I think is really cool because I want to get this out of the way here. So I'm just going to drag it over a little bit and leave a little more of the beach coming down. The, the last thing I'm going to show you here is how to increase the amount of photos on a page. So here you've got two pictures on the page, but if you come over here, you could actually change the design of the page, pick whatever you want, or you could, let's say, jump to four photos and then pick a new design. Let's try something like this. And now again, I'm going to put my hand here, drag this down to center it, and now I'm going to look for a couple more. I'm going to look for a couple more bird photos that might fit in well with this here. Here's one in flight. We'll drop that right in there. Here's another one with a really nice wingspan. We'll drop that one right in there. And that's pretty much how you change the design of the page as well. So these are all really cool little techniques and ways that you can modify your book. Look how easy it was. Auto populate, auto fill, um, all the images go in, change type, Photoshop images, changing to black and white or color or whatever you want to do. Now our next series will be a little bit more in depth, um, potentially on talking about uh, how to Photoshop and when to Photoshop. So stay tuned for more pieces. Look at some more really cool products from Motif, uh, like calendars and greeting cards. And, um, and happy Mother's Day to your mom and look forward to seeing you again on Motif Moments with Mark Sirota. Thank you.